All also. set, Ruby. Good evening. I'd like to call the Monday, January 15th, really regularly scheduled Berlin Select Board to order. Um, meeting to order. Uh, with us tonight on my left is uh, Flo Smith. To her left is uh, Joe Staub. To my right is Carla Nuizel. I'm Brad Town. Uh, Tor Nelson is with us on the Zoom. Um, additions or changes to the agenda tour? I uh, have none. Uh, public comment? Hearing none. Um, local Cannabis Control Commission, cultivator's license. Okay, uh, this is something uh, new that uh, for Carla, uh, last uh, summer, uh, we adopted a resolution establishing a local cannabis control uh, commission uh, under the guise of the state cannabis control board. Uh, so this is actually the first project coming to us uh, as this commission. And I think we've got Amelia and Dave joining us. Yep. Uh, so um, we're kind of like, you know, like I said, we're kind of fig figuring out ways through this as well. So please bear with us. But uh, won't you uh, uh, take over and tell us what you've, uh, what you're planning? Uh, yeah. Just a minute, just a minute, Tor. Uh, a motion to come out of, of uh, we have to change both. out of the select board and into the Cannabis Control Commission. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, now we can go. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Um, hi everybody. Thanks for having us. Uh, my name's Amelia. This is my husband, David. Uh, we are currently in the process of getting our cannabis cultivation license through the cannabis control board. Um, and we met with our licensing agent uh, a couple weeks ago, and she let us know that Berlin has its own municipal board and that we should check in with you guys um, and that we'll need your approval uh, in order to continue forward with the licensing process. So we're here to answer any questions you might have, let you know what the process looks like, what we're going to be doing, anything you might be curious about. Where's the uh, property? It's um, up on Crosstown Road off Walker Road. Okay. Can yeah, you but, can you just describe, give us an overview of yeah. what you're doing? Yeah. Yeah, totally. So we'll be cultivating cannabis for recreational use. Um, we have gone through the permit process and zoning and all of that already with the town of Berlin, um, as far as like our fencing and our greenhouse and building goes. Um, so, so it's all indoor, all indoor cultivation? No, no, no. It'll be outdoor cultivation with a greenhouse so we'll have plants in a greenhouse and then plants around the greenhouse as well and what size like I, I know the cannabis control board has different sizes in terms of your license where do you fall in their licensing so we're a tier two outdoor cultivator okay Any other questions? Out of them? curiosity, are you having trouble? Have you got? Have you looked into insurance? Have you? Are you having? I, I work for the insurance department, so I know this is an issue. I'm just curious how that how that is going or how that went. If you've already, yeah, we're um we're actually right in the beginning process of okay. getting our insurance. Uh, we just connected with a group last week, um, so we're working out our rates and coverage. The CCB requires minimum general liability insurance. Yep. Um, so that's kind of what we're going for. Yeah, because I think it's harder to get, isn't it harder to get it for outdoor cultivation? That's what I've sort of heard. I think it depends on the outbuildings that you have. So if you're, um, you know, building a barn or things like that and you need those to be insured, I think that's a much different process. Okay. I'll be interested to hear how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> what is your time frame you're looking at, Amelia and Dave? So we're hoping to be licensed at the end of February. Um, fingers crossed that everything goes through smoothly. <laughs> um, and then if we're licensed at the end of February, we'll be ready to grow by mid-April to May. And then we'll be harvesting at the end of September, early October. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Any other questions for them? None for me. Any from you, Joe? I'm good. Uh, tour? Well, none here. 
Well, I'm not sure just what we're supposed to do. I guess we approve. Awesome. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's have a motion. Or do we? Can I, can I just ask one more question? Sure, do you have any, what about security? Do you have any security concerns or do you have? Um, so not so much concerns, but the CCB has laid out security requirements. Okay. Um, the ones that we've chosen to use are a property fence that goes around the entirety of the grove with a gate that locks, as well as security cameras that have a live feed. Oh, good. Okay, good. You've, yep, you're on it. And have you discussed it with neighbors and what are their thoughts? Um, you know, we... Cameras away from their yards. Well, yeah, so our cameras aren't like pointed at the neighbors, but um, we have met all of the property's neighbors. We've talked to them. Um, you know, we've answered a lot of questions about cannabis because as you can understand, it's a little, it can be scary when something you don't understand moves into your neighborhood. Um, so, you know, we've done a lot of educating, but now, you know, the neighborhood is really kind of accepted that we're doing this and they know that they can come to us with any questions they might have if like concerns arise. Good. How, how far is it from the, from the grow field to the nearest residence? Sure. Probably like a half acre. Maybe a little more. Maybe more. Yeah. I mean, the the dis, the distance from your fence line to your nearest neighbor, the uh, the dwelling. Yeah. 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 Probably about half an acre. About half an acre. Do Do you live on the property or no? No, we're leasing it from the property owners. Oh, okay. So, so do they have to be named on the license as well? No. So uh, the CCB simply needs a copy of our signed lease agreement. They don't actually have to be on the license. Okay. So, Tor, do we approve or do we just take in, uh, what, how do we do this on this commission? Well, that I'm not really sure if we need to receive notification from the state first and approve that or if we can approve it now. I don't know if you guys know any different or. I would think it would come through the state, but I'm not certain myself. That's kind of I'm, what I think. I'm pretty sure the CCB will be reaching out to you to make sure that we've kind of had this meeting and that we're in good standing with you guys. Yeah. Um, okay. But I'm in, I, I have a very good working relationship with the CCB. So that's also something I can look into. Okay, sure. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Because that's an education for us. <laughs> Like, like so this is our first time doing this, so we're we're kind of figuring it out too. <laughs> okay, then well thank you, thank you folks for coming. Thank um, you very much and, and good luck. Uh, thank you. as soon as you find out, let us know. You can get a hold of Tor at the administrator's office. We'll do. Thank you both. Excellent. Okay, thanks very much. Have yeah. a nice night. Have a good one. Thank, thank you. you. Too. <sighs> Motion to come out of Cannabis Commission. I make the motion to exit the Cannabis uh, Commission discussion this evening. Second. And, and enter into the and, the, oh. and enter oh. into the regularly scheduled select board meeting tonight. I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, Central Vermont Runners Special Event Permit. So, yeah, I don't believe anybody's able to join us tonight um uh, but the application was in your packet i sent out on friday um the annual uh race so i recommend approval of the uh uh request now today um usually they take in post signs are they going to do that again this year Correct. Okay. Two and days prior to, and then additional signs of the day of. Yep. And what is the date of the race tour? Uh, April 13th. I make the motion to approve the Central Vermont Runners Special Event for April 13th as presented to us, and it's the annual race. A second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Mm -hmm. Uh, fiscal year two, uh, 2025 budget. When does okay. this have? To, when does this have to be signed, Tor? Uh, 
actually would be the 29th. Then that'll come into a couple of things later on down. Uh, okay. So I sent you out the uh, latest draft of the budget. Um, the consumer price index for last year came in at 3.4%. Uh, and I figured in a 3% um, cost of living uh, adjustment for the uh, wages. Um, and so looking from guidance from you, if you want to stay with the 3% or if you want to go with a different amount, uh, that's one thing to, to think about. Uh, so looking at the uh you know looking at the budget here um like i said figuring in the three percent now i did not increase the town administrator's uh salary at all since um he's been vacant for this year uh, but that's you know another item you can you can uh, decide on uh, I took out the $500 wages for Board of Civil Authority. Uh, we've not spent any money in that category for several years, uh, close to about 10 years now. Uh, and generally, that just deals with the uh, tax grievances, um, which you know, we will, you know, we do have the reappraisal coming up and we'll probably at that point have to put some money back in. Uh, but not looking at that for this year. Uh, everything else, uh, office supplies, looking at a you know small increase. Um, same with the uh, you know the copier postage rates are going up this month. Um, you know telephone small increase going up there. Uh, moving down to assessors. Uh, for the most part, looking at uh, level funding, everything there, small increase in the tax maps and the uh, their software state licensing fees. Uh, moving down to uh, um, town meeting and elections, looking at an increase there, we will have. Uh, three elections under this uh, budget cycle. We will have the state primary in August, uh, the presidential general in November, plus town meeting 2025. So we are budgeting an increase there. Uh, under insurances, looking at just general rate increases uh, across the board there. Uh, did I hear a question? No. Uh, level funding, for the most part, the zoning and DRB line items. Uh, planning Commission, uh, looking at a $10,000 increase in the consultant. Um, I don't know if, Carla, if you can shed any light on that. I can't. Okay. Is that you mean for it's budgeted for next year, ten thousand more? Correct. For total of fifty thousand. Oh yeah, I'm not sure what that's about. Okay. I'm trying to think what would be coming up that would because we didn't get any of the I don't think we, we didn't get the planning grant. Correct. So there's, no, there's no match. And I'm looking to uh I, I just sent the RFQ to Tom this afternoon, uh, looking to do the capital planning um, through ARPA. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if to our, I'd have to ch chat with Tom. Okay. Uh, moving on, looking at a rather large increase in the recreation board. Uh, they've got several projects coming up, uh, increase from 3,000 to 20,000. 
uh, that's something I think we'd want to look into a little bit more. Uh, Conservation Commission came in with a request for 4,400. Uh, um, level funding green up day. Um, putting money in for the economic development. Uh, commission, they are lo looking with the consultant on the uh, space utilization for the town hall and a small increase in the emergency management committee. Uh, cemeteries looking at a small increase there. There's some deferred maintenance uh, they would like to start working on. Uh, next under county tax, a uh, small increase um, from what we heard from the uh, their budget committee. Um, ambulance service, actually, I, I've not added Northfield in yet, so that still needs to be uh, worked into. Um, everything else is actual numbers. Um, same thing, level funding, the uh, janitorial services, supplies, training, copier, uh, most of those items here. We are increasing the maintenance uh, budget by seven thousand uh thousand dollar increase in heat and utilities and keeping everything else level funded. Uh, small increase in the CPA audit fund and also with the payroll services. Everything else is level funded. Uh, police department, we've already gone over their budget, but uh, wages and stuff is based on the um, okay. union contract. Uh, and there's been no other changes in those areas since we last talked about it. Uh, highways, uh, here again, we talked about it last meeting. Uh, no changes in in that area, uh, with the exception of the uh, uh, insurance figures, the uh, workers' comp and health insurance and, and unemployment, all that stuff has been been filled in. Uh, capital budget, uh, still looking at two hundred fifty-three thousand for a loader, uh, fifty-six thousand for a uh, new vehicle for the police, which would be paid for by ARPA. Uh, we've gotten the then the final numbers for the uh, bond payments and interest. So adding everything together, we are looking at. $4.666 million budget, which is a 14% increase over this year. And to me, that is very steep and, and much more steep than I want to go to the, uh, you know, to the voters with. Now, you know, some of that is, of course, the, um, our match for the, uh, road damages from the from the flood uh, but you know looking at what your thoughts are in some of these other areas Tor, can I just ask what happens with carryover money you know like I don't did the planning commission use its budget this year I mean in those circumstances what happens with those funds does it get how, uh, how is that handled it, just in general carryover funds? Unless it is reserved at the end of the year, then basically those, you know, those funds no longer become available, you know, for that, for that item. Okay. What, what, what happens is the money goes into the general fund, into what I consider the rainy day fund. Okay. And then you can use, the state recommends that you keep a certain percent of your budget, budget. as, uh, as, uh, uh, rainy day money 
And <clears throat> anything over that, of course, can be returned to the voters to buy down. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Okay. Yeah, to buy down your uh, budget. So, Callie, how much do we have in that little fund? Yeah. I'll have to look. I was just going to ask that. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I'm sure it's very little with the expenditures we've been making for the flood damage. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. But we usually carry about a half a million. Okay. So anything over that, we could turn around. Well, you can take and buy it down even more. I mean, you can go below the half million, but you know, historically we've been we've been keeping it right around there. And I think the last couple of years it's been bought down quite a bit, down to three hundred million, not three hundred thousand. I mean, three hundred thousand. Yeah. So, but we'll have another budget session, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. we'll yeah. Get all this out. Mm -hmm. I definitely think we need to look at things a little more closely all the way around before a final decision is made. And, Tour, do we have information on the? Uh, you said that there's a fairly large increase to the Recreation Commission. Did they provide? great detail as to how they came to those figures? I would have to look again for that. Okay. Does, does it have anything to do with the projects or no? I don't know that it does. I, I should know that because we have joined. You no, know, they're looking at several different areas. Um, they're looking at a grant for the Darling Trail, which will require a match. Yeah. Uh, then they're also looking at a... Um, Significant uh, 90 some acres off of uh, Vine Street, Midway. Yeah. Up, uh, you know, looking at a park there. By that for a park. I mean, I, I mean, I hate to say it, but they really are doing a lot. And I, I, I you know, they now are. that we're having joint meetings with the Planning Commission and the Rec Commission, you know, I'm recognizing how much work they're doing and how much, how much value I think they're adding. So I hate to say this on camera, but I would almost, recommend giving the increase to them before the planning commission <laughs> and i'm wondering if the two are in cohesion when we were talking about what the factors are for the planning commission going from the ten thousand to fifty thousand you know maybe there's some cohesion there yeah as to the reason why but that would be beneficial to know yeah i'll, I'll talk to tom thank you so the increase to the planning was going from 10 to 50 and not increasing it by ten thousand. No, it was going from forty to fifty. And yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Good to 40 know. To 50. Forty to fifty. Okay. okay. So it was. Yeah. Increased, increased by, 10. by ten. Thank you. I misunderstood. So I would recommend a meeting um, next Monday uh, if that works for everybody, just to discuss the budget in more detail and and see if we can find some areas. And here, uh, you know, to trim uh, before we have to come up with the final number on the 29th. Yeah, I can definitely next Monday as long as it's six o'clock or later. I wouldn't be able to do it earlier. I could do it too. Oh, I'm open to each side. So, Tor, what was the increase as the budget stands now? 4.2. Four, 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 four. What was it? 14. 14. 14. One, four. Oh. 14.4. One, 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 four percent. One, okay. four percent. Okay. That's a lot. <clears throat> Thank you, Tour, for all of the breakdown. Much sure. appreciated. Well, it is a good argument to take for the uh, local options. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. I, I really hope that passes. <clears throat> okay. Anything else on the budget tour? All set? Uh, I don't have unless anybody has any questions. Okay. Uh, any questions for tour on this? No. I'll look oh, no. Okay. Uh, March uh, town meeting special appropriations. Uh, I believe that's going to be put off until January 29th meeting. And the same with the next one, the uh, warning. warning. Yeah.
uh, just on their special appropriations uh, between Rachel and myself, we've reached out um, to the organization that you know we expected to uh, submit a request. Uh, Green Mountain Transit did not submit a petition, um, and they stated that they do not have the um, personnel to, um, you know, get the petition signed, so they would not be putting in a request this year. I don't think they put one in last year either. That's correct. That That's why they would need a petition this year. That's okay. too bad. Anything else on the... On the um, for the next does that meeting. mean they cut the service, or does it have anything to do with the service? It just we just don't. There, we don't know yet. That's something they're they're going to have to be looking at. That would be unfortunate. They are staged in our town. Just saying. And we can't just put them on there even if without the signatures. <laughs> no. Oh. Okay. Um, if there's nothing else on this, uh, the private road naming Ember Lane. So this is a uh, previously was a private driveway that's now been expanded uh, with additional lots uh, to become a private road. Uh, they're off a of Junction Road in the Kobe Cemetery area. Um, and the E911 board is now requiring this um, road to be named. Uh, looking at the um, uh, surrounding towns in our town and with the 911 board, uh, it was recommended that it be called Ember Lane. And the people are all right with that, and that's their choice? Correct. Okay, a motion on this? So moved. Second. All those in favor of a uh, private road naming of Ember Lane, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, AOT. Question. Sure thing. Um, when, when is there going to be a sign going up on that road? For naming it well i believe the private road they have to get the sign made okay and put in uh in a sign post because it's it's not a town responsibility right but as to the timing of it i'm not real sure i would think probably in the spring Round this spring. you mean this spring well because if it's not real clear it could be next couple springs down the road. <laughs> I don't know if there's any, if there's anything, is there anything in the zoning about that? I don't think so. Not that I can think of. Is, I mean, is there anything with the state? No, because it's a town road, so mm -hmm. town. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not aware either. Not, yeah, I don't know if there's anything on our ordinances either on, on what that has to be signed. It's a good question, though. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, there's a, there's a huge section in the zoning about signs, but I don't think any of it has to do with road signs. <laughs> well, private road signs. That's the, yeah. yeah, but I'll have to look because that's public just, road signs. We got enough regulations <laughs> on this one to do. Yeah, I bet. Hi, Chief. Good evening, Chief. So, yeah, I'll, I'll take a look out of curiosity, but thank you. Well, perhaps we should change this uh, to give them a deadline. Give them a deadline. <clears throat> so May 1st. May should be 90 days. Oh. What's that? Would you say 90 days? Well, I, would have, I wouldn't take and make them do it if the grounds froze, but I mean, I would say certainly by, uh, by April. Or I mean, by May. Yeah, May I think first. Is good. Yeah. I will amend my motion to do that. You're a second? I'll second that. Is that a remarkable? Any... Sorry, I got one of those and I still haven't 
gotten used to using it. <laughs> any um, any uh, further discussion on this? If not, those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, 2024 mileage certification. Uh, this is the form we have to do each year uh, for the state uh, HCA transportation, which our uh, funding is based on. Uh, we do not have any changes this year. Still looking at 13.76 miles of class two roads, uh, 36.94 miles of class three roads, uh, which our funding is based on, plus an additional 7.49 miles of class four and 4.09 miles of legal trails. Uh, so like I said, there's no changes uh, from last year on this and recommend um, signing of this. I make the motion to move forward with the, forward with the AOT 2024 mileage certification, noting that tour explained there's no changes. I'll second. Any further, <laughs> any further discussion? <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, uh, just so you know, um, now next year, uh, assuming uh, we do complete the takeover of Dodge Farm Road, uh, then you know there will be a change next year. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Thank you. Okay, um, select board annual report. Uh, I sent that draft out to you um, earlier this afternoon. I don't know if anybody's had a chance to look at it yet. Um, basically just an update from previous years. Any other comments on this? Hearing none, uh, planning commission appointment. So Carla has resigned from the planning commission and we do have a uh, person interested in joining the uh, planning commission. She's been interested in quite some time. Uh, Lauren Ren Dillon, a resident of uh, Route 12. Um, so I do recommend her approval or appointment to the Planning Commission. I move to appoint Lauren to the Planning Commission. Your second? I'll second for discussion. You know, her, you know Laura? She's attended quite a few of our meetings. I don't really know her well, but she's when you know she's participated and she's been active and okay. Tom's talked to her. I think she's because I saw the paperwork, but I didn't see necessarily a letter of yeah. interest, I guess. Yes, well, it's right. on my desk. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I had some of that information that yeah. would be nice. Yeah. I know Tom's been talking to her for a while in anticipation of, and, you know, I'm going on his word and Tor's word, basically. But she was, she did participate in several activities that we did. I can't remember what the issues were, but she, she did come to the meeting. So she's, you know, she pays attention. That's so Good news. Um, any other discussion on this? No. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion okay. carries. Um, approval of licenses, permits, vouchers, and applications. I make the motion to approve payable warrant 24G16 with check number 23647 to 23680 in the amount of $76,898.83. Also payroll warrant 24-16 for payroll from December 31, 2023 to January 13, 2024, paid on January 17th of this year in the amount of $69,882.73. And the Berlin Volunteer Fire Department selects selectman's orders from August and September of 2023. Your second half. Yeah. Second. <laughs> Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, I don't have the minutes in front of me here, Tour. Uh, 
What are the dates? We do have uh, three sets. We have um, December 4th, 2023. This is the meeting where uh, Encore and Karen joined us from Gary Hotels. Uh, we've got December 20th, 2023. This was a Wednesday. This was the meeting that was rescheduled from Monday the 18th uh, due to flooding. And then lastly, we have a special meeting on December 26, 2023. Okay. Um, a motion on these. Tour. I read. I, I read them, and I think that was the first set. I did find a couple of typos, but I didn't bring them, so now I can't remember what they are. But um, ah, well, whatever. I, I I don't have them in front of me, so I can't comment. But there was. I think it was in the, only in the first set. It was I found two typos. Do you want to make a motion on it and then present those typos? In an email to Tor? Sure, sure, yeah. So I'll move to approve the minutes of December 4th. December 4th. Do we can we do them all together? Individually. Okay. December 4th, um, with two corrections, I'll send a tour following this meeting. And I'll second. So the the uh, the corrections are just, just typos. Just yeah. There was one that it was like, yeah. Okay. Uh any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. I would be there. One abstention. One. Uh, minutes for December 20th, 2023. I'll make the motion to approve the December 20th, 2023 minutes as presented to us. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I wasn't there for that one either. One abstention. I was at a board of class. <laughs> And uh, minutes for December 23rd, 2023. Was it the 23rd tour or the 26th? 26th. Okay. 26th. I'll make a motion to approve the Tuesday, December 26th, 2023 minutes as presented to us this evening. I'll oh. second. Oh. Hey, you do it. Any discussion? <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, round table, Joe. Um, so I, I'd like to see if we can get uh, a couple things on maybe not this next agenda because that's going to be for the budget. So, um, but as soon as we can, I'd like to ha have a discussion on impact fees, um, as well as a, a possible grant. Good. Okay. Uh, else? No. no. I just wanted to just see if we could go over where we stand in terms of the local options tax. If the tour can tell us the status of where we stand right now and have a slight discussion as a board, just so that we know where we where we stand on that at this time. Okay. The uh, first public hearing will be on Monday. January 29th. The second public hearing will be on Monday, February 5th. Uh, the landing page on our town website went live today. Uh, Chelsea did a great job uh, designing that and uh, implementing that. So we'll be adding to that, uh, you know, in the next, you know, couple of days and, and weeks. Uh, as we get close to the to the March vote. Thank you. That's really great. And, and did, did, were videos done for that? Is there are there videos being there, there, uh, or like uh, there, advertising? Or? Yeah, there are videos being prepared for that. I um, think it's going to be a couple of weeks before the first one comes out. There's oh, I think okay. three or four that are are being prepared, and the scripts are written, everything. Uh, so we're. Those are there. I mean, think those are gonna be great when that when those come out. Good, wonderful. Thank you, Tour, and thank you to Chelsea as well. And we did a bunch of stuffers. Rachel and Chelsea put them together. So all the water bills that went out have stickers and stuff that's on them. Great. And then when sewer bills go out, they'll have the same thing. That's oh, great. Good. 
Uh, Carla? Well, in looking at the budget, I was just thinking um, how the, the Planning Commission has talked for a while about trying to create, uh, like, you know, you know how like Barry and Montpelier, well, many cities have downtown organizations that, um, you know, they may fundraise or do, do events or do things like that. And I was just thinking it's something that we might want to think about. We've talked about it at the Planning Commission. I know we talked with the um, Central Vermont Chamber of Commerce about, uh, I don't remember what the proposal was, but anyway, I just, it's something I'd like to, I'll, I'll explore it more with, get the background of what we talked about. And then maybe we can have a discussion here about that. Cause I think it's something that might benefit us. Wonderful. Sure. Anything else? Door, anything? Uh, I don't have anything. Okay. Uh, I think we should take and uh, revisit the special appropriations. <laughs> Thank you. That would be great. You guys are so efficient. I nearly missed the whole okay. thing. Thank right. you so, so much. These are the organizations that have um, submitted a request for funding this year and will appear on the ballot. Um, not much different from last year. Uh, Green Mountain Transit said they were unable to do their petition requirement for their funding, um, so they're not going to be on there. Um, same issue with Washington County Youth Service Bureau and Vermont Center for Independent Living. Um, but everybody else has submitted their requests and petitions if needed and are going to appear on the ballot. Um, I just put the history from last year versus this year on the back side of the page if you're interested in seeing any differences. Hmm. Do you know anything about these organizations? Uh, you know a little bit. I do. How about the Washington County Youth Service here? Um, what would you like to know? <laughs> well, what they I, do? I know, I know, well, I know Washington County has a few homes in the area. Mm -hmm. and, and is it related to those homes? I'm not, to be honest, I'm not really sure what their intent no. for the funding would be, okay. um, where they would place it. Um, I don't have uh, paperwork okay. for them specifically, but, you know, if that was something you all were interested in, I could certainly research maybe the potential impact of them well, not having funding. But... Some of these organizations and how they affect maybe town of Berlin. Right. And I probably speak to them because I had a lot of interactions with them in my former career before becoming a police officer. I worked for the diversion program, which dealt with a lot of youths. Um, and the Youth Service Bureau was a great partner to have. They provide counseling for um, youth and families. They provide housing, sometimes alternative housing if kids aren't cutting it at home for some reason. They provide like after school activity, sometimes a place for kids to go. And it's not like town specific. Anybody in that county can reach out for those services. But I think the family counseling and uh, uh, emergency housing, respite housing is probably the, the big ones. They provide a lot of services for like runways and things like that. They do a lot of support for youth in DCF custody, more so who are over the age of 14. So they do a lot of programming there too. Mm -hmm. So they do not uh, believe that they'll be able to submit a petition this year. Right, they were concerned that. that they didn't have the staffing available mm -hmm. to go out and get signatures. Um, so next year, they're just looking to start a lot earlier, mm -hmm. probably in the summer, trying to, to get that organized. Okay. You don't know what they were requesting. Um, no, but I don't think that their amount is very large. I want to say maybe it would have been a thousand. Um, uh, actually in the past, uh, 500 straight across for the last almost 10 years. Yeah. So, um, they didn't request funding last year. Um, and I know, I know they want to in the future, so. Any other questions on special appropriations? Mm -hmm. The seventeen thousand seven hundred and fifty-seven dollars is the total of the ones that have you received the uh, request from. The, yep, the five hundred and seventeen, and that includes the fire department's funding as well. 
Oh yeah, five stone. So sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, any questions for Rachel? Yeah. Well, thank you very much for showing up. You're welcome. Um, I also have a draft of the notice and warning for town meeting. I didn't know if you guys wanted to chat about that briefly as well. Sure. Um, this obviously is a draft, so it's not ready to be signed today. Um, oh. yeah. We'll need to finalize it. We'll need the, the budget amount um, and then the wording for the local options tax question. And if there are any other questions you guys would like to see on the ballot. Um, so similar to last year, we'll have town meeting the Saturday before. So that'll be March 2nd, shooting for the same start time, 10 o'clock. Um, but this year we'll do the pre-town meeting. So the information informational meeting followed immediately by the actual town meeting. Um, so hopefully people will stick around and maybe the fire department would like to do lunch again. Macaroni and cheese. Ultimate goal. <laughs> it's a pasta about. It was amazing. Yes, it was great. <laughs> and hopefully the weather will be better and we'll have a better turnout with residents. Okay, anything else from Rachel on this? Thank you for all the detail you provided. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you very much, Rachel. You're welcome. Hmm. I just wanted to make an appearance so you remember I work here. <laughs> I'm a baby. I was worried there was going to be some sort of a, some sort of a, is that getting session? <laughs> no, thankfully, no, it's in concession. So who writes this language? How's everything going over there? Yes. Very well, other than trying to kind of okay. skyrocket. Okay. Yeah, um, I don't know if you want it. Skyrocket. Oh, okay. All right. Our retail thefts, criminal trespasses, disorderly conducts, uh, violation okay. conditions, property. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. the last wording this time. Mm -hmm. Certain crimes are probably higher than they've been 10, 12 years. So this isn't a seasonal thing. This is just an increase across the board. Yes. The and we're not the only. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like so a here. week ago, two weeks ago, there was a couple of ambulances down at uh, Good Sam. That, that's a pretty regular occurrence. Is it? I, yeah. I was driving by. I just happened to see them. It's like I was kind of surprised. Uh, well, it's not too surprising. They got a lot of people there with yeah. various. Health issues, mm -hmm. uh, top physical condition. Sometimes they're suffering from mental health issues, which kind of require them. I was just surprised to see two ambulances, though. So. Then there was also an accident down there maybe last week or the week before. So yeah. like a three car accident. Let's respond to that. The lady down there. Was that the one with the car ended up on top of the two? Yeah. Oh my God, I heard about that. Yes. So good. Day. I we only had one ambulance at that one. I, I saw that one when driving by. <laughs> attention, attention getter, that's for sure. Yeah, it is. So we've been busy, yeah. very busy. And how's the uh, retail? Yeah, that is off the charts. Is it? It's very frustrating seeing repeat customers, same players over and over again. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of accountability. Our guys are kind of getting burned out, to be frank, having to, well, the amount of work involved in yeah. putting together a case on some retail theft, only to have a person out and doing another one that day or mm -hmm. the next day. Mm -hmm. um, it seems kind of pointless to roll on that rock uphill and then we have a little over you on its way down. <laughs> We're trying to push through and hopefully things will change at some point. I think we owe it to our merchants to respond regardless of what the oh, outcome is. Absolutely. Be. I know a lot of jurisdictions have kind of given up and said it's not more than $200 or something like that. That's the only time we're going to respond. To I'm not prepared to go there. Mm -hmm. Well, the only thing there is, is the way things are going, everything's going to be $200 or more. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still have somebody in the, the academy? He is going in February. February.
Any specific questions for the chief? I'm just going to sit here and ask him until he gets up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that. We have plenty of time. <laughs> yeah. 